In the previous videos we've looked at how to build a database driven website and we've been using Access. Um, I've uploaded this uh, my site to Icon, I'm sorry to Instruct uh, and I created the uh, application directory uh, for Instruct um, and so now when I browse to my site um, I can see that I need to create a, a, a page called default or index not ASPX uh, so that the the web server will automatically pick that up and give it to the user uh, but if I just get into the individual files I can look I'm pulling from that access database that access database is located here in app data uh, in the in the directory app data um, it's pulling the, the date from the database fine if I get into view the details uh, I can see the individual details about a state I can delete the state when I delete the state it just kind of goes away but if I go back I can see that Kentucky is now gone um, I can edit a state and this seems to be working correctly and I can add a new state and again it just kind of halts uh, but if I go back I can see that it's actually adding so I want to work with with the configuration a little bit and try to get it to move around uh, after we do these inserts and deletes um, and and just make it a little more fluid make it a little more user friendly uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is copy this down off of instruct into my uh, onto my desktop so that I can work with it In Visual Web Developer, I'll go to Open Website and I'll point down to the desktop to that folder. And now I have all of my uh, uh, files and, and uh, the database and whatnot on the desktop loaded up in Visual Studio, so I'm ready to begin editing. First thing I'm going to do is make a front page. So we'll get into Visual Basic, add a new item, uh, make it a Visual Basic web form, code in a separate file, default is just fine. and in here I'm just going to place a couple of links one for viewing all of the states and one for adding a new state. Okay, I'll save this and then I'm going to just test it uh, here locally. View all states. Takes me to states.aspx. I can see everything that works. And that seems to work. Uh, from this all viewing all the states here uh, things look pretty good there uh, we might want a, a home button down here so that we can get back to that uh, default so let's get into states.aspx and put that in there do it through the source code it'll be faster so 
So now if I view all states, I have a home button that takes me back so I can get out of here. So from the view details button, um, I probably want to add a home button and maybe add a new state uh, underneath there. So let's add those links. So that was state details. Save that. Now if I come in here and refresh, I can add a new state so that works and I can get home. So that works. Uh, the other page, if I'm on add a new state, uh, if I cancel, it doesn't really do anything here so I want to add, probably add a way to get out of here. So let's get into new state. Okay, so now let's uh, test our functionality here. We get in, we can start with default. That's our starting page. You can view all states. Go home. Okay, so everything we seem to be able to move around. Everything seems to be working correctly uh, for our our uh, static links down here at the bottom. The other thing let's do is go in and add some functionality in the from the code behind um, so that it will automatically do some of this for us. So uh, when we get when we're looking at states, uh, we don't really do anything there besides move to uh, the next uh, the details page. So let's get into the details. Let's get into the code behind for the details. Uh, get here in our routine. Um, For, for the details view one, which is this, and if we look at it, if we scroll down here and look at its ID, its ID is going to be details view one. So we're dealing with this little control right here, this object. So for this object, this details one view object. We're going to choose it up here. And from here we can edit and, and we can uh, delete. So let's go first with uh, item updated. So this is after we make an edit. So now this little uh, subroutine here is for when we add an update to details view one. And all we're simply going to do is response redirect to states.aspx okay so now let's go test this real quick so we're viewing the details of Texas get in here let's edit it and as soon as we click update uh, it updates it in the database and it brings us back to the states to to see the change. Okay, so it is uh, where that's working like we expected. The other thing we can do from this uh, state details is delete. So let's add one for delete. So again, we'll choose the object details view one. We'll come over here, item deleted. And 
And for this, we can do, um, let's try a response right. see if this works for us. We view our states. We can go into a state. When we delete, we get this record has been deleted from the database. Then we can choose to, to go elsewhere. So that seems to be working. For our new state, um, we need to get into the code behind. And if we look at new state .aspx, the design view, uh, here the details view is called details view one. It's the object ID. So here we can get into our routine, open it up a little. Uh, details view one, and we can do item inserted. And once we do an item inserted, we'll just redirect it again to that uh, page where we can uh, see all, see everything. So from here we can view all states. That seems to work. We can pick a state. We can delete a state. Uh, we can view all states. We can edit a state. And it takes us back. And when we insert, it automatically takes us back to this page. So our response redirects and the code behind uh, seem to be working well. Uh, made the, the page much more fluid, uh, made it a little more user friendly. Adding those extra links in there uh, helped with that as well. So um, at this point, we need to put it back up on Instruct. We'll go to Website, Copy Website. At this point, I will just copy everything up. And now when we go to Instruct, we should see new changes. Our code behind function seems to be working.